So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem was directed by Jeff Rowe and it's about, well, it's about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this time around, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are kind of just hiding out. They're not allowed to go out into the, into the human world and such. And so when they realize there's this new villain out on the scene and his entire gang is out there as well, the Ninja Turtles decide, hey, why don't we take matters into our own hands? Why don't we go out there and find this guy, take him down, and hopefully, you know, put him, bring him to justice, get accepted by society, go to high school even, and that's the movie. So this was a movie that admittedly I was not looking forward to, mainly because I'm not a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Not that I'm a hater or anything, but like, I never really grew up with them. I never watched the TV shows, the movies, never played any of the games, never read any comics. It was just something where it's like, it seems like there's a lot out there and I kind of don't know where to begin with it. So I heard a lot of buzz about this movie. It's like a lot of people said it's actually really good and that the animation is great and everything about it is really good. And I'm like, okay, well, well, let's give this a chance at least. So I saw it and honestly, I'm glad I did. This movie is a lot of fun. I like the animation. I like the characters. I figured it was a good time. So, what do I like about this movie overall? I like the animation, mostly. The animation, the animation's not entirely polished, I would say. It looks definitely rough at times. But honestly, it definitely works because it's its own unique style and it kind of, like, works overall with this world that they're building and such. I do think, like, even though they took inspiration from the movies like the Spider-Verse movies or Puss in Boots Last Wish, it's still its own unique style enough to the point where it's like, you can definitely tell the difference between all of them. Meanwhile, the voice work is really good. All the actors who voice the Ninja Turtles do a really good job, as, mo as, as well as some of the uh, ac other actors in this movie, like Ice Cube, Jackie Chan, uh, Ayo Edaberry. I thought they all did a really good job in this movie, too. Like, those were the standouts, in my opinion. Meanwhile, the score, I thought, was really well done, too. When the action's going down, the action is, like, you know, the score is, like, pumping. It's, like, really good. It's, like, really intense. It's a lot of fun. And meanwhile, there are some sentimental moments in this movie where it's, like... The score actually does fit overall, even though admittedly I think the score sounds a bit too much like the score from The Social Network, and it doesn't really help that the composers from that movie, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, are working on the Ninja Turtles movie. It's really weird when you think about it, but yeah, it definitely felt like that. And surprisingly, there's a lot of jokes in this movie that actually do land. There are times where I'm like laughing in my seat, where I'm like, okay, that was actually really funny. <laughs> and it definitely is pretty funny throughout the entire movie. The action is pretty good, too. And also, I did like the fact that there was some heart in this movie. It's not like I expected this movie to just be like, you know, an emotional roller coaster or anything. It's like, if you're expecting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to be like an emotional tour de force movie, then what are you expecting? But for what they tried to do, it was actually fine. It was actually passable. It was good enough. However, I feel like with the next movie, they kind of should take it a little deeper in the next level. Like, maybe have a little bit more hearts in this mo the next movie. Like... Kind of like what Across the Spider-Verse did, where it's like that movie was a little bit heavier than the previous movie, to put it lightly. I feel like the next Ninja Turtles movie after this should do that, if there is a sequel. And also, admittedly, even though there are some good performances in this movie, there are some that I'm like, um, what are you doing? Like, why are you in this movie? Like, Maya Rudolph, usually I like her. What was she doing in this movie? I don't know. Uh, Seth Rogen, who was a producer on this movie, he just voices one of the rhinos in this movie. And honestly, it just sounds like Seth Rogen at this point. And it just kind of annoyed me. And even though there were jokes in this movie that I thought landed and I thought were actually really funny, there are some jokes in this movie where I just didn't laugh either because it's like it just wasn't that funny or maybe it just took it too far. Which I never thought I would say for a Ninja Turtles movie, but it kind of takes it too far with this one joke involving a bodily function and I'm like, um, do you really need to do that? Do you really need to show that? I really don't think you need to. It's just not funny. It's just gross, and I just feel like they should just stop with this joke. Um, and also, what kind of annoys me about this movie, too, is that there are so many pop culture references that you could do a drinking game out of them. It's so annoying. They reference so many things in this movie, and it's just so incredibly annoying. Like, there's actual clips of movies, like live-action movies in this movie, and, like, how does this make any sense? Like, why are there live-action movies in this cartoon universe? It makes no sense. They also reference various celebrities. They mention BTS at one point. They mention Batman at one point. It just, it's kind of annoying. At least, I, I, I hate to compare this to Spider-Verse because I feel like they're their own things and it shouldn't be re really be comparing them. But when Spider-Verse mentions something, it's usually, like, uh, Usually in the background, it's usually just an inside joke for like, you know, for everyone who's like watched it like 20 times and they're just catching all these like inside jokes. And I just feel like 
it just is it's distracting when they just have like all these random pop culture references for mostly no reason. It just was annoying. It was just it was it took me out of the movie a lot whenever they just dropped a reference. And I can already see the honest trailer where they just mentioned all the pop culture references. But it it was just kind of annoying, but overall it's still it's still an overall fun experience. The animation is great. The voice work is really good. The action is great. The, the comedy is decent. The score is really well done. And surprisingly, there's some heart in this movie, which I didn't expect it as much as I did. I didn't expect as much heart as I got. Even though I feel like they could go a little bit darker with the next movie, and I feel like not every joke works, and there are some performances I don't care for, and again, the ungodly amount of pop culture references, I still think this is a good enough time. Um, hopefully... Hopefully, because, like, even though I'm not really a fan of Ninja Turtles, maybe I should start checking out more of their stuff. And I hope that, like, maybe other Ninja Turtle fans can watch this movie and be like, okay, this was great, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad that they did this movie. So, I'll give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem 3 out of 4 stars. See it. So, what's your favorite version of the Ninja Turtles? Comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This is Pat. Stay safe.